Hi, welcome to La La's World. Today we're going to be talking about Windows Movie Maker. Today's tutorial is going to be on version 2012. Let's get started. Okay, once you have your Windows Movie Maker open, the first thing you're going to do is add video and pictures. There's two ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you both ways. The first way you can click this little icon here and grab all of the videos that you want to insert or photos. I'm just going to grab those here. And hit open. And as you can see, they show up and all the videos that you have pretty much pop right on in there. And if it has a yellow exclamation mark, that pretty much just means that that file type is not supported. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that for now, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay. The second way that you can add your photos or videos is to click the top icon and pretty much do the same thing. It's just two different places that you can go to go ahead and grab your photos and your videos. Okay. Once you have your photos and videos, you go ahead and edit the video. Okay. And basically what I'm doing is just picking and dragging the photos and videos that I want to the section that I want. This one right here is going to be my title. Um, so I'm just kind of dragging that to the front. That one's my end card. So I'm dragging that to the bottom. Once you have it where you want it, just go ahead and play it to kind of make sure that it's actually where you want it to be. And if it's not, then of course, just kind of rearrange it to how you like it. Also, um, you've got other options like adding video, adding music, title, captions, credit. Um, these buttons right here just kind of change the way it comes up. And in animation, you can kind of play with the blurry, play with flipping, and just the way it turns. Um, also, you can edit how it pans out. So there's lots of little options you can kind of play around with to make it look as cool as you want it to look. Okay, and under project, uh, you could do emphasize narration, emphasize just certain aspects of your video. Under view, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Thumbnail size, you could change that. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and click edit. Under here, um, basically this is actually a photo and it's a little too long, so I'm just going to shorten how long it actually plays. And as you can see, it just shortens right there. And I'm going to play it. I'm going to do the same thing to this particular photo. I'm going to just show, you know, you can make it enter a little bit fancy if you'd like. Just change that up a bit. And where you see those little lines, little jagged lines that sound within your video. For this particular video, I'm going to do a voiceover and I'm going to put music over it. So I don't need that sound in the background. So I'm just going to go to edit video volume and I'm just going to mute that sound within the video. That's one nice feature that Windows Movie Maker does have. Um, you could pretty much mute that music in the background so you can do your voiceovers and you could add your music to it. I'm just going to click each video that's separated and do the same thing for it. And also don't forget to save your movie while you're working on it because that's the last thing you want to do is do all this work and it's not saved and your computer battery goes down or what have you. You definitely want to make sure that it's saved. Okay, next you can add your caption, titles, and credits. Okay, right there is title. I'm just going to play around with this a bit. You could capitalize it. It pretty much takes the title from whatever you saved it as. Um, you could change it around as you could see, move it around. Okay, but I do want to change that title, so I'm going to type growing green 
onions. And with that font that you type, you can edit that font. And this is just a pre-made way that it comes across on the screen. So I want to go ahead and edit that to my liking. Okay, so basically what you do is go to text tools. Make sure your text is clicked. And you can change the type of the font. You can change the size of the font. Transparency, background colors, there's a lot of options there. So, once you have it highlighted, just going to play around with it and choose a couple of fonts to see which one looks the best, in my opinion. Now, of course, what looks good to me may not look good to you guys. So, just kind of pick, you know, what you like and what's appropriate for your video. could change the outline, the size. I highlight that. Change that background color of the actual video to green. Sure you could do this too. Kind of playing around with it just to show you what you guys can do and change that font color. See, it has the white outline, black words. And say if you do all that, you don't like it. The good thing about it, you can change it. I'm going to change it back to black. I'm going to preview that. Just going to change that font color and glowing green for growing green onions. But this is just a sample. Um, the actual video you can watch in my channel um, to see how this video actually turned out, like how I actually did edit the video. Um, the way I'm doing it now is just kind of to show you exactly what you can do in Windows Movie Maker. Okay, so again, if you want to shorten that title, shorten that text, you can go to the edit tool and update it. Okay. Because you definitely want your timing to work out. Kind of make it flow. I'm going to go to edit, choose that slide, choose the timing, just kind of shorten it up a bit because it doesn't need to be as long as it came preloaded. Let that play. Okay, I'm satisfied with that so far. Another thing you can do is add caption. Right there, I'm going to talk about how you can save money growing green onions. So I'm just going to put a couple of dollar signs up just to kind of add an effect to what I'm actually talking about. And I'm just going to go through and change that font, change that size, change the color. I'm going to shorten that timing up a little bit that didn't need to show up that long because I just kind of wanted to pop in as soon as I say you can save money growing green onions and I want that little dollar sign to pop out and another thing um if you right click on a portion of a video you have the option to cut copy paste select add videos add photos remove set a starting point zoom in zoom out and split and those are all very handy options to have when editing. Um, like right here, I'm going to 
just kind of show you that you how you split a video like say you want a certain portion to go a little faster or a little slower or you need to maybe put something special in that particular section then you can actually split that video so you can do your timings you could add your special effects to just that section of the video that you're editing and say that you do something and you don't like it, you can always hit the undo button up at the top. Or if you want to redo it, hit the redo button. Definitely good to know. And in, in terms of credits, say that you want to add credits to the end of your video. I'm just going to type in Lala's World. And then you hit the play button to see the effect of it. And see it just scrolls up as credits would at the end of a video or a movie or show or whatever you're making. And like say that you want to add just a little bit more on there, you can. Um, the way you would do it is just split that out a little bit to give you enough space. Go to the next line and type whatever you want to type in that second area and just keep on going down when you play, again, it just scrolls like credits. Okay, and say you want to remove something that you don't need, you just, again, right click and hit that remove button. Okay, now we're going to talk about adding the audio. Just go to that home button, hit add music, and it gives you a couple of options here. Um, the ones that I use the most are add music and add music to the current point. Mostly add music to the project at the current point is the one I use just simply because I have different sections that I add different music or different sounds to. This one is going to be my main video and as you can see once you put it in that video it pretty much if the video if the sound is long enough it's going to cover the entire video but I personally don't want that whole uh, music to play during the entire video so I'm just going to cut it at the point where I want it to stop. Just going to let that play out. Okay now I want it to stop right there so I make sure I'm clicked on the green part of the audio and make sure that my little cur my big cursor here is exactly where I want that audio and I split that audio and I hit the delete button or either right click and remove. Okay, then I'm going to add music at the current point and put my voice over there. And basically my voiceover just plays. And you definitely want to make sure you listen to it just to make sure that sound is lining up with the actual video. Okay, let me just split it right there. And move that portion up. And just, of course, as you go along and make your edits, Definitely make sure that you are saving um, and also listen to and watch your video frequently. That way you can make sure that it flows. Basically, I'm just going to sit here and play around with the sound just to make sure it's aligned exactly where I need it to be. You can drag that cursor to where you need to play. You can also hit cut. And also, if you see like a little itty bitty portion right before your video starts or right before um, like a little section or like gaps in between, you can just go ahead and delete that. So that way it'll start exactly where you need it to start. Anywhere where you see like a little space or a gap that is non-audio. So if you want to get rid of that, then you definitely can by right clicking and hitting the remove button. 
And of course it will overlap so you just kind of have to split it where you need it to be split after you listen to it just to make sure you don't split it in the wrong spot. So as you can see just the whole editing process is just kind of trial and error and listening and playing to make it flow. That's the key word. You definitely want to have that video flowing, have that effect where you want it to have it, have that voice where you need to have it. Okay, and another thing you can do is drag your sound. Um, just click on it, hold your mouse down, and drag it up to where you need it to be. And I just always like to get rid of that extra little gap when I put two different sounds together, just so it'll flow. And of course you can drag your little pop-up caption words to where you need them to be. Like say if it's not matching up, just, you know, drag it exactly where you want it to go and shorten it or extend it as long as you need to. And wherever you are clicked, that is the part that will split. If you're clicked in the video, it'll split the video. If you're clicked in the audio, it'll split the audio. And sometimes what I like to do, when I see the sound is not going all the way, I'll extend my picture or piece portion of my video all the way out. That way I can let it meet up where that sound ends and then just kind of chop off that edge that I don't need. And then after I get that timing on my sound right, I go back up and I basically minimize the video or make it shorter in order to meet up with that sound. And Like I said, it's just a trial and error. I'm just going to preview everything that I've done so far to make sure. Okay, And after you're done making your preview, enjoy that awesome video you just made with Windows Movie Maker. Well, I hope that helps point you in the right direction for Windows Movie Maker version 2012. Most of the other versions I've seen are pretty much similar and have similar features. If this video has helped you, definitely give it a thumbs up. And leave some comments in the section below of what, what has worked or hasn't worked for you if you have any tips. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.